Well, hello, Tim Nelson. Just out here checking out my five acres I got. not going to lease that 10 acres from that other guy it's just too much flip-flopping so anyways i figured i'd get five acres at least this way i own it so i don't have to deal with anybody but myself anyway the property runs that tree line all the way up to the top for a few thousand acres it's only about uh oh roughly 300 feet wide down here at the bottom and it uh gets about 100 feet up at the top so, walk down the road here. That's my corner there. So, anyway, I don't think I'm gonna be able to just drive in along here though. I need a bulldozer. So, where my Jeep's parked, I might just kind of use that for my access road for now to like figure out something else. I've been uh, marking the trees a little bit. Had all kinds of little teddy bears and frogs and things stuck along the trees here. So, anyway, it doesn't go much farther up here. Another tree I marked. This is kind of the way you post things around here so people don't hunt your property. Another one marked up in there, kind of hard to see, but it's there. So, so this is the road across the lower end of my property anyway. And we're just about to the end of it. And lots of stuffed animals. So, this here's the corner. So, kind of goes up on that angle. So, kind of walk up here a little ways and get an idea where I'm going to be camping and maybe clearing the spot. Probably be pretty close to here. I don't know. This isn't too bad of a spot. I have to drop a few of these trees if I'm going to build here. But just offhand, though, this looks like the easiest spot to get to. And I don't know, kind of cutting across the corner of the property there, but that's stimps and lumber, and hopefully they won't mind too much. So it's just right on the corner. So old skid road here. So. Anyway, looks like for now this is probably going to be camp spot, home spot. I'm not sure yet. It's my first time out here. I bought it unseen. So, you're seeing it for the first time just like I am. Definitely got to bring my four wheeler down here though. Well, let's go to the right. We'll skitter roads. And it's like I might need a skitter just to get in and out of here. Wow. 
Definitely got a lot of building material. A lot of firewood. A lot of deer track. At least I'll get some meat for the winter. Yeah. Looks like we're dead ending out right here. Skitter trail looks like it might go up that way. Anyway, I'm gonna go back down the other road here, turn around, go up the other way. Well, I got kind of hit a dead end up the hill there. I'll just show you how dense all these woods are around here. I've got a lot of thinning to do, but that'll make some poles for some buildings and smaller stuff. I don't know, I got a bunch of that around six inches long or around that uh, I'm going to use probably for a cabin. So it's going to be awful hard to get building materials up in here. But man, if there's ever a fire in here right now, it's going to go through this stuff pretty quick. So, got a, enough to keep me busy for a few years. A lot of these little trees here I have to get thinned out. They're just growing too close together. Perfect fire fuel. So, let's have a little look at this spot here. Uh, fairly level. Like a little bit of a game trail here. Hadn't been used for a while, but it's like they come and go. So yeah. A lot of thinning. Oh, there's some poops. A lot of poop. There's some older tracks. Boy. Like it's gonna get muddy up in here. Ground's still soft from the last rains. Yeah, I can thin a lot of this back. This will pretty much have to be my home site for now. Road's right down there. You can, I don't know. I see a little light through the trees there. Anyway, road's right down there. Oh. Just thinking about firing up a chainsaw and doing something with some of this, but it's getting kind of late in the day. It's already about 3.30. It's gravel road for, I don't know, probably last 15 miles into this place. But I might have to rent some equipment if I got the money for it. Right now I'm kind of hoping I got enough, you know, I'll have enough to pay off the property, but uh, not a whole lot left over, I don't think. So I'm going to have to get resourceful as far as the house goes. I was kind of wanting one of those pre-built sheds to get hauled in there, but I don't know if he can make it up that. I'd have to... Pretty much come in off that corner there, I think, and clear everything. Just kind of build a road in right through there. So, anyway, I'm going to call it quits for now. So, thank you for watching, and I'll uh, get back to you when I get some more done up here.